Michelle, how are you doing today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm really, really good. Such a pleasure to talk to you. So, since this movie opens with a visit to the cinema, I figured what better time than to ask Michelle about her particular cinema-going habits, let's say. So, you ready? Okay. What is your favorite cinema in the world? Ooh. Gosh, you know, I got to give a shout out to Cobble Hill Cinemas in uh, Brooklyn, where I live, an independent cinema. I've been there for um, as long as I have. Fantastic. What is your go-to cinema snack? Oh, popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. <laughs> it's a classic, but it's a classic for a reason, so it's okay. Yeah, it works. Do you have a favorite seat in the cinema? Are you aisle, front, middle, back? I'm always aisle. Always all and if, like. Do you like to be close to the screen, far away? Uh, medium. Okay, cool. Yeah. Which is your preference: the collective laugh at a comedy in a packed house, or the collective scream in a packed house during a horror? I cannot tolerate horror films, so I will definitely take laugh. <laughs> that's that's fair enough as well, and. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't seen this this movie just yet, but it does end with uh, a really good piece of advice being given uh, to to the main character. Is there any uh, singular piece of advice you would think you could impart to people who might consider following in your footsteps in, in the career of being an actor or an actress? Mm. I, I always say to anybody who wants to be an actor, uh, to not take any advice from business people. Oh, wow. I don't know if you know this, but today is the 25-year anniversary of the first episode of Dawson's Creek. You know, somebody told me that this morning. It's also my husband's birthday, so it's, um, yeah, two things. <laughs> wow. Do you have any particular memories of, like, your first day of making, you know, something that audiences still love to this day wow um that is like really turning back the pages 25 <laughs> years ago my god um god we were just so young that's all i remember i just sort of see our our little baby faces um meeting each other for the first time having so much fun kind of not believing that we were all we got parts on tv shows it was really exciting and when you think to to that from that to like your first day on the set of the Fablemans, which is for for some for some actors like it's 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 probably their huge shot to be to, you know to be shot into startup and stuff. And you've got Spielberg and you've got yourself and you've got Paul and you've got Seth. Like, how does it? How for you is your first day on a set on on a movie like this these days? Ah, oh, the same. Like it's just beyond a dream come true it's really thrilling like I, I've been doing this for so long and the more I do it the more I love it and the more I know the more curious I become so I'm I'm always so excited to to go to work and to find out um what why I'm there and what I'm going to discover like both about the person that I'm playing the other actors that I'm working with and about myself Fantastic. Michelle, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much. I don't know what to do anymore. You do what your heart says you have to. What was your favorite part? 